All right, guys, I'm going to show you today how to remove the radio on a 2007 Taurus. First, you need some Ford Handy uh, removal tool keys. Push in. There's these little clips on the side you're going to have to clip a hold of and pull outwards to release. Then disconnect everything from the back. Sometimes the plugs can be a little stubborn. Sometimes these keys are nice to push in a clip to remove the little guys. All right, if you see here on the side, when you push these clips in the front, they latch right here. And when you're doing, oh, piece of crap. When you pull, it pulls it that, which latches here on the side of the radio. So now you got that. Okay, guys, now we're on the bench. We're going to take the radio and flip it over. And then you're going to have a screw here, which is a T15. And screw that guy to the side. Pull that out. Other side. That guy. Pull him out. You lift. You pull out and then up. There. And then you take a 5mm socket. Got this guy. Five millimeter here. All right. I'm gonna flip to the front side. Face all your dials straight up. Pull straight out. Out and out. All right. Now that's done. Take the first one. Twist it straight out. Set the side. Second one. Turn to the right. Out. This guy here is a little stubborn. This guy doesn't have any bolts, it just clips in. You can take that out. Now you're stripped down. <clears throat> now you take the new radio housing. Lower. Take this guy. <coughs> Pop. Next one. Bam. And then the last guy here. Pop in. Um, if you got a couple of spare screws, I don't like using the original. Um, five millimeters, they don't seem to really bite in there. There. Cool. Take the clips, some back to the side. C15 again. take your knobs it doesn't matter which one they will go all back on the same just turn to make sure everything works okay all right now that part's done whenever you buy a new radio 
your wires are going to be like this. They're different lengths. Cut them all so they're the same. This makes it a lot easier to tuck in everything. When you guys are wiring, uh, go ahead and strip the blue with white. Don't worry about the blue. More than likely, you'll never need it on most cars. The blue is going to be a power antenna. The blue with white will be an amp turn-on, but it's not hurt to have the amp turn-on hooked up. The only thing difference is if you have an old car with a power antenna, it'll just activate the power antenna whenever the car's the radio is turned on rather than just when AMF is set. Is set. need a quarter but I like about three eighths worth of wire and put them together like that and just twist them and some crimp caps do not use wiring nuts wiring nuts duct tape scotch tape whatever it is uh, if you're trying to do it home in the garage and you don't have any of this stuff, you can use electrical tape, but do not use scotch tape, duct tape, anything like that. That is flammable, it will catch on fire, and you don't need a fire in your dash. All right, guys, so they're all crimped up. And now we've got the zip tie. I'll wrap it around all these here. Pull it as hard as you can, like right there, so it looks like a teepee. Then cut it nice and tight, and then you can pull out like this. So now we are set. Your wiring is complete. Uh, you're going to take this guy here, slide straight through the front, and then you can do this with a uh, flat blade screwdriver, but I find a cotter pin tool works the best. You can reach in through. Bend down, bend them as hard as you can. You're not going to break the metal. Flip over, same thing on the top. Guys, this is a very critical step. If it's not tight, the radio will jump, you'll skip CDs. It just really plays havoc on the player. All right, now once it's in there, you guys see the the tabs, how they're all pressed forward right here. And then you just take this guy here, make sure you're upside up, slide back. You hear the click. You check on the back side if you want to wiggle. It's nice and set. Take your plug. Go ahead and snap in. Plug your antenna in. Now you're ready for dash to reassemble it. All right, guys, we're back in the car again. As you see, I already ran this wire down here to the left side of the steering. I'm going to make sure all the connectors are made. All, right. all this is simply plugging everything back in. If you ran a Bluetooth mic like I did, you can make sure you plug it back in. Everything's got this plug in, guys. It's all this. And once 
once that's in. All right, now that she's getting here, it's gonna slide her back into your click there. Yeah, click there, and you're all set. All right, Let's test real quick. Key in, turn on. Cool, we're lit up. We're not gonna have any sound yet, but that's not a big deal. All right, let's turn it off. All right, guys, now that you're back at the back of the car, on the left side, there is, pull the carpet back. There is a connector, a little black tab. Pull the pin out of the center. Then you can pull the whole guy inside out. Oh, these little guys. And then you can pull this forward. If it makes you, if it helps you, you know, you can actually remove all this carpet, but I've, I don't need to. So this is the factory radio box. Now, uh, there's two plugs on the bottom and the antenna. I'll start unplugging the antenna. Just twist it until it comes out. You're free there. And you have two additional cords on there and one there. Now, the wires for the front should be tucked under your carpet. Come across. Over here. And they will only plug in to one of the two connectors. So, you see it plugs in this one. See, it's just, it's too big for this one. It will not fit. So, you plug it in there. Plug it in there. Put your carpet back the way it was. And you don't have to unplug the second. Let's test it out. There you got reception. We got music, guys. Looks like we got a good job done. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching.